Good morning, dogs, and welcome back. Hot dog of the week, Holden's list, and more right after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I want to start things off by announcing that what an outstanding job to the band, choir, and orchestra students on an amazing performance for our Merry Christmas Charlie Brown show. And thank you to everyone who came out to watch Saturday night. Mrs. Horrell stopped by on Friday to deliver early Christmas presents for the hot dogs of the week through each grade level. Hey, hot dogs, it's Mrs. Horrell coming at you. We are so excited today to highlight some of our special hot dog of the week students. So as you know, we nominate students every single week. They're nominated by your teachers for all of the awesome things that you are doing. So what we did earlier today is put all of the names of all of those who have won Hot Dog of the Week in this lovely apple given to us by our friend Bob Lucas at Horace Mann. And we pulled one of those out from each grade level. And today, these awesome hot dogs are going to get a $25 Visa gift card. Isn't that awesome? So when we did this earlier today, our ninth grade winner is Miss Aubrey Plass. Here's your Christmas money. <laughs> our tenth grade winner is Miss Cameron Campbell. Representing the eleventh grade class is Miss Felicity Chumley. There you go, Felicity. Enjoy it. And rounding out is our senior class representative, Nelson Honore Ramirez. Thank you so much, hot dogs. And just know that we are always looking, and you might be the next one to be nominated. Merry Christmas. Congratulations to all of you. It's that time of the morning again where I pick up on Holden's top five list. And at his number three spot, he declared that the silver trophy goes to Christmas with the Cranks. Now, I'll send it off to sports and weather. What's up, dogs? Your hot dog has lost to two, game, two games over the weekend. Friday night, the dogs lost to Twin Lakes, 43-38. to They got down early and staged a late comeback to fall short. Alex Farley and Kai Kirby were the only two in double figures, 18 and 11. On Saturday night, the dogs were flat all night in the loss to Sheridan, 65-51. to Four players were in double figures, with Quincy Perry scoring 14, Kai Kirby with 12. Doug Wood and Christopher Russell with 10 each. And the JV boys fell 43 to 53 on Friday night. And the girls and boys will play in a, tonight in a tournament at Pioneer High School. They will also play Tuesday and either Thursday or Friday this week. Good luck, dogs. The boys wrestling team traveled to Twin Lakes and the girls went to Jeff. They did not get the outcome they wanted, but Nelson Honor placed third, Caleb Boggs placed fifth, and for the girls, Ariana Sierra placed second, and Emma Pillion got first in the girls' tournament. The wrestling team will be back in action in, two, in a two-day tournament, Wednesday and Thursday. Good luck, dogs. And now, I'm going to send it to Addison. Thanks, Carlos. This weekend, we finally got to see some of that winter weather we've all been hoping for. It snowed just about an inch, and there were some harsh winds. Luckily for us, the winter weather won't stop there. Later this week, the temperatures are going to reach the lowest that we've seen all winter, with it hitting negative 6 degrees on Christmas Day. There's also a 70% chance of snow on Christmas Eve, so we might just get a white Christmas this year. As for today, though, you can expect the usual overcast skies and cold temperatures, with the high being only 30 degrees and the low being 10 degrees. Temperatures are dropping fast lately, so be sure to bundle up and stay warm. That's all for today's weather report, dogs. Now, I'll send it back to your hosts. Garrick meant to say second spot, but thank you Addison and Carlos. Students, as you're watching this during third period or fourth period, I hope that you all did well on your finals during second period. Meanwhile, for lunch today is in lines one and two will be chicken alfredo with breadsticks. In line three, there'll be pizza crunches, and in line four, there'll be flatbread pizza. And happy birthday goes out to Jonathan Bautista, Amy Cano, Christopher Gilby Hosa, Jose Hernandez, Cruz Jimenez, Abraham Lopez Angeles, and Jose Vasquez. That is all for today's morning announcements, dogs. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe, but most importantly, study for those finals and best of luck.